Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently we're looking at a, a um, solar flare registering at M5.8 from region 3110. This region was something I talked about a few days ago saying if it had a very high potential due to the fact that on the leading corona hole, or no, the sunspot rather, there was a corona hole that was being separated by that uh, region. So there's a corona hole to the north and south of this. And at that point, I said that if an event, and it's very likely to happen based on some research I did, if an event uh, occurs there, it will be very explosive and at least be an M class. And this one turned out to be an M5.8. took three days later before it occurred. And if we uh, take a look at Angstrom's 193, we can see a little more clearly the corona hole that I'm talking about is right here and just to the south of it right here and it's divided by this region it has uh, loops that are cutting across it that have caused a division of this corona hole this does two things one is there indeed will be a corona mass ejection from this as we can see already right here a lot of mass uh, this has a high chance of having a proton event We'll find out in a little bit if that's the case. And this CME has a very optimal chance of impacting Earth. And it will be moving very quickly, so it will have a pretty, pretty big, uh, powerful force shock in its uh, approach. And this is due to, once again, the massive corona hole north and south of this region, 3110. So this event here is pretty much a disruption of those corona holes caused by this uh, this region here. So even though NOAA had not predicted an X class on it, it it was uh, or M class on it, it was kind of inevitable it would happen eventually, due to the nature of that region. And so if we take a closer look at angstrom 304, 304 angstroms, which is the measure of distance of each of the light waves. So the 304 angstroms filter from SDO satellite, we can see that, once again, that does have a very northward look to this, but that could just be due to perspective. We'll have to wait and see. But there is a lot of plasma in motion. A lot of the surface is disrupted. And uh, this does have a a very nice position to be impacting for Earth with anything that's ejected from this region. And with once again with those kernel holes north and south of this uh, sunspot, the umbra of this, this could be very interesting. We definitely could see a uh, geomagnetic storm, I would expect one at least, <laughs> and uh, probably maybe up to a G2 or G3 depending on further information. So at the moment uh, we'll, we'll say a G1 with further analysis being required. <clears throat> the solar flare did cause an R1, no R2 rather, reaching the M5 category uh, means the measure of energy was enough to be an impacting of that scenario. I'll pull that up here in a second and show exactly what impacts those are. So we have the R1, which is that, and here we go, R2, which is your HF radio, so latitude blackout, HF radio communications on a sunlit side of Earth, loss of radio contact for tens of minutes, and navigation, degradation of low frequency navigational signals in tens, for tens of minutes. So it's not anything too severe, it's not significant, especially for on the Earth level, it's very short duration. But it is something to take note, and of course, those of an, a more professional uh, aspect where they're controlling satellite communication and dealing with the NASA and ESA and so forth agency technology, it is quite sure, I'm quite sure they've already got a handle on it. And we're looking at this, this is a very beautiful event. There is some outward plasma coming this way, so this is definitely already 
I can tell here this is definitely going to be a uh, earth directed CME we have some heading out this way we can see it in this perspective here some shading this way and this is plasma streaming this way the hotter plasma from the eruption here which is most likely where a proton event is going to be coming from I, well I believe we're going to get a proton event it may not happen but I, I believe this is going to cause a proton event we will see And once again, looking at the surface, we can see how this is once uh, right there on that uh, far end of the umbra where the separation was at. So here's your your break for that coronal hole right here and right here. And here's where these loops were crossing over here. And this is exactly where it was triggered. Well, we're going to keep looking at this, but I'm going to upload a short little video of just this part right here. So for those watching the video, cheers and science on. Oh, that's a beautiful burst right there.